I get it now is succeed and today we're gonna to talk about why does always tell rappers. Now this whole topic came about because while I was talking to somebody I realized that I always say why I always tell rappers, but then what is that I actually tell rappers shit? And especially Trini rappers and the real reason for that is that in my experience speaking to people on the whole, eh, but when you it's to tell them certain things like say, hey, you know, improve this on yourself. Well, you know, you should do this and you should do that. There's always more back there already, know, And they want to hear you. And I, I honestly believe that some people are just insecure and, you know, there's the things about them too much. So this, this is my video and then all they know what I have in my head and I just want to tell them when I'll be talking to all them. All right. Just five things and will take too long. One, stop acting hard. If you if you are naturally a hard and aggressive person, that is a hundred percent cool. But if you know that you ain't falling that bracket a gangster, that bracket's a tough, that bracket's a you know, cold blooded, then don't act. Because they can only have one iPhone. They have like a million China phones. So dog, it's a China phone. You understand? Two. Stop saying people in your country don't support you. Because the truth of the matter is sometimes there's always see like Two or three comments saying it's a way this man is real shit or two three people trying to fight you know and in your head you just take them three people and multiply by a thousand but if you look at the statistics on your youtube channel on your soundcloud if you just use reverb nation you look at the statistics and see how much people actually from your country just watch your videos just listen to your music i strongly believe that you'll see a high percentage of people who even liking your page on facebook is trinidadian and trinbegonians and not americans and not English people or wherever. So while they might tell yourself, well, you know, America is where everything popping and where everything happening and that's where I go to make my money. The fact of the matter is you cannot sell out no no but no business, right? No business go and invest money into a product that cannot sell in its own hometown. You if you cannot sell out here's the Crawford Stadium, if you cannot sell out them little play park that is having everybody in the neighborhood, then Will you, will you really feel that jam and invest, you know, a two million, two million inside of you? And you can't even sell out your own easy Crawford dog? You understand? Stop it. Look at the stats and make sure you're saying the truth. And even if not many Trinidadian supporting as a business, as a product, you have to decide, okay, people don't like my product, change your brand, change your color scheme, change your name. What do you have us? I mean, you have to make your product sell. You understand? Three. So on the note of, of um, saying your country and supporting, stop bad talking your own people. Stop saying Trinidadians do shit. Stop saying Trinidadians do support. Stop saying you go and move away to America. Trinidadians don't know real music. Stop saying those things. Because when you do that, you only create an atmosphere of hate. People just not go and like you. Yeah, a couple of niggas gonna comment and they're gonna say, Oh, yeah, you know, you're talking the truth, dog. Word up. Yeah, peace. You know, America is where everything is happening. Trinidadians don't know nothing. Think, think, yeah, you're gonna have about five niggas saying that. But the people we want, them same niggas saying that, not gonna buy your music, trust me. So the people that you want to support you, you don't want to make them feel like there's bad people. Sometimes people do not listen to your music because your music sucks. You understand? You have to come to reality with that. And the next thing I understand too is everybody had different tastes. Some people just don't like rap, or they just don't like your rap, or they just don't like Trini rap, and you can't you, you can't force it upon them. You could, however, change your product and make your product into a way people will say, "All right, cool." I don't usually you never hear somebody say, "I don't usually I don't usually listen to rap, but this is actually some good shit." You never hear somebody say that. That's what you should be trying to do. Try to get comments like that. Get okay? people who listen to rap to listen to rap. That's why you have to change your product, market yourself, brand yourself. You understand? Number four. At least I think it's number four. Number four. Stop paying people to record. Now, I know it have a certain level of, um, I don't know, creation or a, certain, a different level and production that has come when you go in the studio and you're working exactly with the producer. He right there and you right there and all he's doing all the things. That's good. I can understand paying money for that kind of atmosphere, that kind of interaction. But if you're remixing a song, like you see, you know, 0 to 100, or you see, uh, uh, who's the next people that pop in these days? Kendrick Lamar. And you want to, you want to, you know, remix one of his songs. 
don't pay somebody three hundred dollars, two hundred dollars, a hundred, fifty dollars to record in the studio now, please. You understand? A good mic costing you a hundred US dollars, a decent mic. You understand? You buy that mic, you set it up in your house. Especially if you're living alone, you have no excuse to be paying a man three hundred dollars to record. Let, let me lay it out for you. You get the mic. The mic is number one. Mike, as I said, 66 US dollars, 100 US dollars. If you want a whole bundle, you might get one for 1500, 2000, whatever. Right? You get your mic. Two, you get software. Cool Edit Pro, Audacity, Adobe Audition. You don't have to buy software. Cool Edit Pro is, I think, free. Audacity is 100% free. Or if you want to be, you know, a criminal, an internet criminal, internet gangster, internet thief, you go on pirate, then you pirate your software. Then all you have to do, plug in your mic, right? You're listening, boys and girls, plug in your mic. I'm trying to make it sound stupid, eh? I was trying to show you how easy this thing is now. You plug in your mic, you hit record, and you record your song, dog. And then you carry the audio by an engineer or whoever and let him mix it if you don't know how. Or I, what I would suggest, because that's what I do, I learn to mix for myself. So now I don't go by nobody. I just record, mix, and even master my own damn songs myself and saving myself real money. You understand? So yeah, don't, don't do that. Don't, don't. Please, don't. Good? Number five, last thing on all this. Stop releasing one song a year. Stop, 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 dog. Like, I know men that say, new tracks come in, and a month from now the track drop. What? What? Dog. <laughs> all you have to understand, I mean, all right. I'm not trying to, again, I'm trying to make people sound stupid, and I'm trying to insult nobody. But you got to think about what you're doing, right? We as big people, most likely we're doing music, right? You can't say you have a track coming, three weeks from then, the track hasn't released yet. You are not, you know, Lil Wayne. You are not Drake. You are not Nicki Minaj. You are nobody famous. If you don't have an album in Macy's, you don't have an album in Best Buy, you don't have an album in France selling in a, you know, a parlor, use nobody in the music industry. You understand? So do not, I mean, yes, you're going to have people who are going to be waiting on it. But the best strategy, I honestly believe, for you as an artist, if you have a song coming, Announce it on a Monday and drop it on a Wednesday for the latest. Do not announce on a Monday and drop on a Friday. I mean, you could do that if it's strategically aimed at something. Like, let me say, you're trying to avoid somebody else's release date who is on the same bracket as you. You know, they might be targeting the same audience. So, therefore, you know, if you release on the same day, you know, your song might get less plays or whatever. That's cool. But if you're on the same, if you're not, if you're just releasing a song for this, a song sake, Release it as soon as possible, right? My strategy is when I tell people something coming within 30 minutes, within an hour, within two hours, within five hours, they have something. I never make people wait like days and wherever. Sometimes, yes, I because I get busy. But the majority of the time, new song coming. By the end of the day, new song reach. You understand? So, basically, that's what I wanted to tell you all, you know, I mean, you have more things that I want to tell rappers, but those are the top five things that I want to tell Trini rappers. So, hope nobody has told no feelings. If you told them feelings, drink some milk and strengthen yourself because Cabby Yen on so soft, that Too sensitive. Plenty of it. Boom! There's Renal 868. Vibes. But this is a lady. She be feeling my vibe Goes away, I make a smile, I made a place in life The girl keep cool, but she blowin' my mind And every time I learn with that, it's a real good time Girl, I never thought I'd find a love I like it This girl be love, this love life's too The girl want to know if I ready To keep things steady When we alone, I tell shit Girl, the way you move 